Hello, my name is May Buenaventura and I'm the Deputy Coordinator of Jubilee South Asia-Pacific Movement on Debt and Development. It's a regional alliance across several countries in the region working on various issues uh, on debt and uh, poverty. And uh, right now uh, we have uh, ongoing campaigns on the private, against the privatization of essential services, which includes the privatization of water and connecting it also to the financial crisis and the climate crisis. So uh, I came here to FAM because I think that it's a very important space with which to challenge the official World Water Forum, which is being dominated by banks and private corporations. I think FAM offers the space for people and organizations to come together and find common cause in the global and national struggles against neoliberal globalization. As we know, water privatization and the privatization of other services is a core principle of neoliberal globalization. And we want to stop this now. And coming together here has been very inspiring for me because uh, I find that uh, there is really optimism that we have right here in FAM that we can use for future struggles. And that struggle uh, coming up in the next few months is Rio Plus 20, where uh, companies and banks are going to push their concept of green economy and green growth, which I think is very dangerous because it repackages its old uh, programs on privatization and uh, financialization. So we need to be very alert and vigilant about what they're doing and uh, so that they do not co-opt the principles that we hold sacred, such as the principles on human rights and sustainable development and people's participation. In the road to Rio, I, I hope that all the organizations here, all the activists here, uh, really uh, put together the energies, build from the power of movements that we've gained all these years and challenge the multinational companies, the North governments, about uh, the commodification of water. Uh, of course, the challenge, the struggles are never easy. Uh, it's getting more difficult and more difficult because uh, they always find ways of, uh, of uh, new ways of uh, deceiving people, new ways of pushing their neoliberal agenda. Uh, I think we need now to sharply target who these forces are. Uh, it's uh, very good that uh, we're coming together and um, gaining it from each other's strength, but we also need to put our heads together on who to sharply target, the international financial corporations, the North governments, and uh, the way that they're uh, dominating water and sanitation and uh, uh, you know, uh, just uh, controlling people's rights. And we know that uh, when, when the rights to water are, are narrowed down or controlled or constricted, it's really the economically disadvantaged people who suffer most. And uh, I think it's uh, really our duty as activists to come forth strongly, link our issues, think beyond just, just we're water warriors, yes, but we're also warriors for human rights, for justice, for a new and better world. Uh, we've we've, we've uh, come out in the streets many times before saying a better world is possible. And uh, this, this activity that we're having now, this international gathering, is part of that struggle that indeed a better world is possible.